Greetings, listener. Please enjoy the unintelligible ramblings of your favorite dynamic trio, Arva, Farah, and Westy, as they explore a world of food, glorious food. Welcome to The Unintelligibles. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Unintelligible Podcast. I'm Westy, and I was the most scared last week, so I was the winner. I don't remember being the most scared, but the coin seemed to decide it. God decided your fate. <laughs> Damn it, not again. And I am joined, as always, by my two lovely co-hosts, Arva. Hello. And Farah. Hi. And it has totally been a little bit of time since our last recording. We didn't immediately just decide to double up and hit record again after hitting stop recording on the last <laughs> we one. We definitely are not <laughs> behind on all recordings after being away for three weeks. No, no, definitely and not AFK at is all. panicking because she has nothing to edit. <laughs> nothing to edit for the release in two days. Not at all, no. Right. Uh, so... How have you two been since it's been obviously longer than oh, a week? Oh, this week has been awesome. I won the lottery. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I bought oh, a yeah. house. <laughs> nice. That's a lot. Yeah. Got married. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ma Congrats. Thanks. I missed it. Shit. I know. Yeah, sorry. I sent out the invites, but you guys must have not got them. Damn. Right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I missed the wedding because I was currently discovering a cure for cancer. And I actually. Oh, oh, right. That's totally fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was <laughs> so just out. Right, you, you got the Nobel Prize. Oh, <laughs> not spelunking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It got stuck for a little while. Yeah. He's actually in the cave yeah. right now. Uh, AFK, can you add like an echo audio effect to his audio? <laughs> sounds like he's in a cave. Wait, no. <laughs> That better be an echo audio effect on that. I'll be really disappointed. <laughs> now, yeah, the one time you actually like play up for the bit, it's just you no know echo. AFK's like, fuck you guys. It's gonna you be echoing the whole time, and then you go, no. There's gonna be a smug face on the screen behind me. <laughs> uh, welcome back. Glad to hear you. You're both doing quite amazing, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So it's only 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 downhill from here. Bruh. <laughs> I know this feeling well. You hit a certain age, it's all downhill. <laughs> it is, yeah. Uh, and I myself am doing all right. I know I kind of slightly touched on it last week, but I said last week, last episode. Back from vacation, and I want to say adjusting a sleep schedule where you're waking up at like 7 a.m. every day of the week because you had to like go do stuff on a timetable before you know, things closed. And then you get back yeah. and you're like, all right, time for night shift schedule again. And I'm just like, kill me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was I on too well. a three and a half hour time shift, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it was, it definitely impacted it's me. It's enough. It's enough to like make me tired, uh, like go to bed way too late and wake up way too late. And then, we were there for two weeks, and I was just adjusting to it, and then we came back, and it was just, like, all fucked up again. I went to bed super early and got up super early, or, no, I went to bed super early and got up super late, and every time I've had to get up early for work now, this whole week, because I have to get up at 6.30 in the morning, mm. I'm like, <sighs> Gross. Yeah. Icky. Was... I think I'm back, though. It was easier to readjust back to what I'm used to than adjusting to the three and a half hour. Which, by the way, half an hour time zones are bullshit. <gasps> yeah. Right. I didn't know they existed until, honestly, a few years ago. But, like, when I found out, I was uh, st shocked. Like, what? <laughs> Do you just want to feel different? It's so dumb. It's so <laughs> weird. What difference does a half an hour make, really? Right. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's so pointless. I mean, I guess there obviously has got to be a reason for it, but like in my little pea brain, there's it makes no it point. It's hard to do the calculations. 
Well. Fuck I don't know if this segues into today's topic. <laughs> not at all. Like, not at all in any way, shape, or form. I was sitting there Shit. thinking, how can I recover from this? Uh, okay, I, I know one. I guess the one benefit... No, that didn't work either. Anyway, today's topic is food. <laughs> food. <laughs> I could, I could yes. do it. I just had McDonald's. You did just have McDonald's. I want to talk did. about food, kind of touch on what our, some of our favorite foods are, but also some foods that we just detest. And this actually is... Damn, I had a perfect transition that I didn't use. Uh, this actually comes because yesterday I got taken to an ethnic festival, and they have like all the different like kind of cultural stuff in booths but their main draw like they have a main stage where you can see like the dances and hear the music of the different countries but the main draw is food because they have food booths everywhere and we had a lot like let me see because i have a lit i took picture of the menu we had um we had food the empanadas from ecuador we had some shawarma oh, I from I love empanadas. Shawarma from Egypt. We had yummy a little bit of goat stew from Haiti. We had some spicy chicken from Korea, and the one that we had a lot of uh, we had two shepherd's pies from Scotland. Those are delicious. And then we also had uh, samosas from Zimbabwe. Oh, I love samosas. They are yummy. They were so good and. It's like after that, it's like, oh, and then like uh, Swedish meatballs and a wrap with lingonberry um, jam. Ooh, yum. Very, yum. very good. And then like some of the little heart shaped waffles. And we were like so full after that. We we're just like, all right, let's go back to the car and basically just walk around an empty field for like half an hour because we couldn't find where he parked. And there was just you parking didn't field. Get the... <laughs> I don't know how it is in uh, America, but. Every time, at least here in Alberta, maybe it's different per province. I don't know, Arvo. You can you can tell me. Every mm. single time there's anything with food trucks, there's always a pierogi one, and I always get pierogies. Yes. The funny, oh my god, I love pierogies. The funny thing is, I actually made pierogies at home the other oh. day, and because Adrian never had them before, and I did like the, what? <gasps> yeah, she never had them. She's like, I don't know what this is. So I was like, Oh, hang on. So I just did some mashed potato and cheese pierogies, and then yes, yeah, so those mm -hmm. are the best. And then just did a really light fry on them because she doesn't like the doughy texture. So I just fried them up in oil for a few seconds, so they got a little People crisp. People who boil their mm -hmm. pierogies are psychopaths. They are way better fried. They are. Here, they are. I'm sending what the menu, I guess menu, the list of food we had at that festival because it's like six pages. But, oh yes, I did see you posted this before. But yeah, you can kind of see oh, what yeah, the options yeah, yeah, are. Yeah. Holy shit. I like that their menu and it's from China, assorted soda, water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, Philippines pork kebabs and adobo. Mmm, pancit. Oh, yummy. Oh, I want Oh my god, I want all of this. <gasps> it was all so I always wanted to so try good. a malt drink. That's something that I've never Oh God! It that ah. made Adrian throw up, and it made me gag because it just it hits your throat weird. Oh, mm. yeah. It's like thick soda. <laughs> yeah, Maltagoya. It's like we had it actually from India, and it was like, oh, this is weird. But did not like the Maltagoya. Hmm. It just that's fair. It's too thick, and it like it just really coats your gag reflex if you're not ready for it like if you drink it thinking oh like a kind of like a soda no no not like a soda more like marmalade wow there are oh. this is a lot of food holy crap yeah right like i was trying to read through it all and there's so much i oh, i'm jealous that'd be so good there was still oh. a lot that we didn't get to try just because i mean look how many there are like there's, there's a yeah lot Oh, they have euros, bro. Yeah. There's a Greek restaurant here, and I fucking love euros. It's so good. Euros are delicious. Mm -hmm. Depending on where you get them. Uh, oh, there we go. The meatball in gravy with lingonberry jam wrapped in lettuce. <sighs> it's a potato uh, flatbread. That was so yum. That sounds really good. Uh, I'm gonna go to Ikea, bro. But there. Get them meatballs. 
Adrian and her brother are actually going back today because he didn't get to go because he had to work. And he loves the Jamaican jerk chicken. Oh, yeah. Right. That is good. Yeah, so they're no actually... Canada poutine, bro, I'm disappointed. Oh, yeah, what does Canada have <laughs> on that list? Hey, okay, if you want the list. It's... I want to see, what did Canada have? I didn't see Canada in, in here. I don't uh, think Canada... Oh, wow, Canada's not a thing. Damn. Yeah, Canada doesn't exist. Wow. We're not real. Really. It would have been funny if it was just Canada and it was just Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tim bits that are like a week old. <laughs> yeah. The staple. That'd be sad. Some of these places only did drinks. Which yeah, Ireland. Like China, assorted soda. Oh, look at um, Ukraine, though. Ukraine made me laugh. I have to find it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Baked goods. <laughs> just baked just goods. Just baked goods. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the South Korean, uh, marinated chicken with rice, spicy chicken, so good. So, this leads us into our topic, because when we were on vacation, Adrian's family has this tradition that I was never really, you know, I didn't really have birthday traditions. At most, I would have somebody be like, happy birthday, here's a Steam game, I'd be like, oh, thanks. Full thumbs up. Right. And, but they have a birthday tradition where whoever's birthday it is gets to decide the food and then somebody else just yes. pays for it. That's always been the same uh, in my house as well. Yeah. Birthday boy gets to pick where we go for dinner or what gets made. Yeah, I was never, that was never a thing like for me. So I was like a little, ah, oh, you know, anything's fine. And she's like, no, no, you actually have to pick something. I was like, I mean, I don't really care. Anything's good. And I didn't know like how deep this tradition is because she like got mad at me. She's like, "All right, motherfucker, hang on. What's your favorite food?" <laughs> uh, Dr Pepper and Skittles and Cheez Its. No, actually, one of my favorite foods that I have to limit myself because it's so unhealthy. But I like once a year I'll treat myself kind of thing. And I guess now it's for my birthday treat myself. I fucking love Monte Cristos. They're so unhealthy. That's the uh, the fried egg. <gasps> Wait, yeah, they're so sandwich, good. Hold on, it's right? just, yeah, it's, it's, it's like I just covered clicked. an egg and then fried. It's uh, you take a sandwich and it's just ham, turkey, Swiss, and you alternate them. So ham, turkey, Swiss, ham, turkey, Swiss, up to a couple layers, and then you batter it up, and then you deep fry it. Okay, yes. I was thinking of... I don't know why I thought egg was in it. I think I've had one with egg. But... I, there are some that have different variations, yeah. but the standard is generally it's meat, cheese, and fried. Yeah. That sounds... I've had that before. Only once, I think, in high school, and it was very good. It's, it's like a... So good. It's, it's so, like a so good. better grilled cheese. Yes, but there's yeah. a certain way that you have it, and it makes it better. It's... Of course, after it's all fried, you have to sprinkle powdered sugar on the top, but mm. you get a raspberry jam, and you just dip mm -hmm. and scoop it in the jam, and you have yeah. really thick-cut like steak fries, and it goes so well with that sandwich and the jam. I was about to say, when I had it, it had a jam with it, and it was so fucking good. It's oh. Raspberry jam is the best flavor <sighs> combo to that sandwich. The problem is, it is so greasy and just so just there's so many carbs that's like your meal for the whole day kind of thing yeah you yeah. feel awful you after get eating all 2, it calories. <laughs> you get more than that you get your calories for the next day too and yeah. that's why i limit it down to like once a year and usually after i eat it i gotta like sit for you know a few minutes and just be like oh mr laquista han solo and just let my <laughs> let my inner java come out but then i gotta go for a walk and just kind of help it digest and burn off some of those calories mm -hmm. but uh it, so it is tasty. so good but that was my that was my birthday technically break it was technically lunch i can't eat super early in the morning it makes me sick but i gotta wait till like mm -hmm. after 11 or 12 then i can start eating i don't know what that is about but what about you two do you have particular foods that if it's a special occasion you're like i need this this is my absolute favorite Hmm. I definitely, um, I, dude, pasta is so good. 
I am a I'm a yeah. pasta fiend. Any type of pasta, as long as see, I'm not a huge fan of different meats, but I I'm usually fine with like if there's ground beef or ground turkey or chorizo or anything like that. It's fine. I do not delicious. like seafood, so I do not eat any seafood pastas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's but fair. anything, any other type of pasta, I fucking love. I love spaghetti is all time favorite for me, and then like fettuccine alfredo is like second place. But dude, I literally could eat spaghetti every day of my entire life. I love it so much. I never get sick of it. And there is this restaurant that started in vancouver it's called the old spaghetti factory old spaghetti factory. oh yeah locations in canada i think there's 20 something in america and it's my favorite restaurant of all time and the, they're only in there's only 17 in canada so there's two in alberta there's one in calgary and one in edmonton actually i think there's two in edmonton and i pretty much like almost never go to them because it's very out of the way but every time, if we're going to one of those places, especially if we're going to like West Edmonton Mall or anything, because it there is one in West Edmonton Mall, always got to get Spaghetti Factory. And I get the same thing every time. I get the spaghetti with meatballs and I get French onion soup to start because I fucking love French onion soup. It's my favorite soup. And I get, they have this peach iced tea that is so good because that's my favorite drink is peach iced tea. And then they give you uh, like a pistachio ice cream at the end. And it's the best. Yum. Best I, meal ever of all time. I had to look it up. The closest one to me is three hours away. It's worth it, bro. It's so <laughs> oh fucking good. Oh, my God. I have made a pact with Frisia that we're going to go to every spaghetti factory in Canada. You know those videos that Eddie Burbank makes where he went to every Rainforest Cafe and then every Margaritaville? Yes. I want to make yes. that, but with Spaghetti Factory. <laughs> I okay. love Spaghetti Factory so much. I've been to the one I've been to the one in Calgary. I've been to both of the ones in Edmonton. I've been to the one in Victoria. But not Vancouver, which is the original, and I really want to go. You got to make a video of that one. Oh, absolutely. There wasn't any in Newfoundland. There aren't any at all. And there wasn't one in Ottawa. I think the closest one is in Toronto. So we didn't get to go to that one when we were in Ontario. Because apparently you can't rent a rental car until you're 25. Mm -hmm. Which is below. Yeah, that's so stupid. So I will say of all the ones I've been to, which is only four, Calgary's is the worst. It's it's the food's fine. It's the atmosphere because oh, and yeah. I, the, there's one in Banff too. I forget. There's four in Alberta. There's one in Banff. There's one in Banff. It's really wow. nice. It's actually my favorite one that I've gone to so far. Probably huh. maybe tied with Victoria. That one was really good too. Mm. But the one in Calgary is very because they have a a theme like the theme is the old spaghetti factory. So they have like very Italian style um, furniture and then they have like stained glass windows and it's like very, very spaghetti factory. It's got its like own style. And Calgary's was like the least spaghetti factory I've ever been to. (laughs) And it's so funny at the front of the (laughs) building. There's a scale so you can weigh yourself before and after you eat your spaghetti. <laughs> uh, I couldn't. Well, no, I would do that, I think. I did it once and I was like, damn, I ate a lot of spaghetti. <laughs> damn, bitch. Honestly, I need to go to a spaghetti factory again. The last time I went to one, I think I was the one in Victoria. Uh, it's and a it was good really one. Good. I like that one. A lot of things in Victoria are good, though. It's really Victoria pretty. is very nice, yeah. But yeah, spaghetti is my favorite food. Can't go I love, wrong. I love pasta in general, but mm. spaghetti is my fave. Okay. And then, aside <laughs> from pasta, I, I I love poutine. I'm a very stereotypical Canadian. Right. I was gonna ask anything like specifically Canadian cuisine because I know spaghetti yes. is available like everywhere. Everywhere. Yes, yeah. I love poutine. I just like the classic like. 
fries, gravy, cheese curds. I don't want any pulled pork or anything else in it. I just want... <gasps> really? Yeah, I'm a purist in my poutine. I love me a plain poutine, but I do like some extras. There's a really good barbecue chicken one that's here. There's like a local shop that's really tasty. And there's a barbecue chicken one that is so fucking good. Oh my god. But I will honestly have poutine in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> it's so good. It is, it is really good. Like it judged yeah. on the one we made, but I. You made a shit one. You didn't make a proper poutine. I can't have a lot of cheese. My body reacts badly to it. Mm, so I fair. had more gravy and meat just because I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll eat the rest of that. Those fries. Same, I want you to know those fries. I hand cut those fries. I soaked those fries overnight. Ooh. I fried those fries in peanut oil. They were delicious. Ooh. I always okay. make hand cut potatoes just or hand cut fries just because they're really easy to make. If you know you're gonna make them, you just soak them in cold water overnight and make sure you wash them really well and mm -hmm. dry them out. So those yeah. fries were delicious. Everything, everything you saw on that plate was handmade. With the exception of the cheese, which I just did a small sprinkle just because I couldn't. I can't eat a lot of cheese. I'll die. Weak. That's fair. I'll be on the toilet. The toilet will die. <laughs> it's a it's sacrifice when sacrifice. I have. Yeah. Uh, we use I what sacrifice we have. my stomach for food. I have an uh, iron stomach. I don't have a. I don't have any sensitivities, thankfully. <laughs> Wait till after 25. They come rolling in. <laughs> Trust yeah, me, Adrian. Adrian can't even drink soda anymore. She'll drink a soda and be like, "God, my stomach just hurts so fucking bad." No, I hope that doesn't happen to me, bro. I love root beer. So she only drinks. I don't drink a lot of it, but like lemonade. Now. I'm an Damn. iced tea bitch. I definitely, if I'm gonna drink a love flavored drink, it's gonna be iced tea. tea. Yeah. And to be to be clear to all the Americans, iced tea in Canada is not the same as iced tea in America. Iced yes. tea in Canada is like a soft drink it's like nest tea or brisk ah uh, okay or like gold. yeah yeah so iced tea in america is like oh do you want sweetened or unsweetened yeah that's right like really... it's like actually iced tea yeah like straight here up tea it's iced. like yeah. iced tea and the default flavor is like lemon and then yeah, you get other, other ones i love peach tea is my favorite peach is really good yeah, I always got confused when I went down to America. My family would order like iced tea. We get like just unsweetened, actually iced tea, and we're like, "What the fuck? What yeah, is this?" And it's the most I literal had... take. It, it is, is, yeah. And the sweetened stuff, I had like canned. I don't even. I think it was Arizona. Ah, uh, the Arizona tea. iced tea. Mm. Holy fuck! It is so sweet. Jesus. Yep. I could not drink it. It was. Is way it? Too I never sweet. had that. I've only had Arizona up here. Yeah, Arizona up here is like regular iced tea. <laughs> right. In the south, huh. oh my god, they've had I'll have so to try uh, yeah. Arizona. Well, especially the south, yeah, holy shit. I was going to say. I feel like the south loves their sugar. There's one, if you get, it's like an Arizona uh, watermelon tea. That is so fucking good. That sounds good. Uh, Watermelon's a good flavor. Do it if it's too sweet, like. When I go to Starbucks and I get refreshers, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I don't get them with lemonade. I get them with water because the lemonade is so sweet that it makes me like not. It's like makes my teeth hurt and I don't mm. like it. Which is funny because I was telling that to Akira, and I was like, "Yeah, I usually get it with water," and she's like, "I get it with lemonade and two pumps of sweetener," and I was like, "Jesus Christ!" But she's from the South and she makes proper sweet tea. And I'm like, I, I I, don't think I could try it, man. I think you're going to kill me. I think I'm going to take one sip and die. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I've tried it before. The further mm. south you go, the more sugar we just kind of dump into everything. Mm hmm Arva, what? Uh, if you had to pick one dish to be like, I want this to be my special, like, day dish. It's your birthday or, you know, it's your last meal. You have went on your rampage for a few episodes ago. What are you picking? <laughs> oh, that's a good question, actually. There's so many. F I'm just a foodie, so I'll like, eat anything, honestly. Besides, seafood's like the one thing I really don't eat. I one, allergies. Two, a lot of the seafood just doesn't appetize me. That's fair. Um, so I'll eat a lot. But I think for my birthday, honestly, 
Um, I might just be basic and I might just go for like a good chicken burger. Because honestly, with a burger, you really can't go wrong. It's really hard to like fuck that up. If you fuck up a burger, then you really need some help. Because <laughs> that's, that's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. And there's some really good chicken. There's a good chicken burger out uh, in a place that's around me. I can't say what it is because it will dox me, but um, it's you so give good. Your home address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to send me some food, <laughs> I can send my address. But it was, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like, it was kind of sweet. Like the sauce they had on it was kind of sweet, like a caramelized kind of like sugary sauce. Um, but also the chicken patty was like spicy at the same time. So it's like a sweet and spicy kind of thing. And it's just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. And I just, it's like the perfect, like crispy breaded chicken too, like a good crispy chicken. Oh, I love that shit. I'll always fuck up a chicken burger. <laughs> Can I Always. say sweet and sour sauce is the superior sauce? I don't I love like sweet it. and sour. Uh, I think my favorite's hot uh, honey mustard. Hot mustard too, because McDonald's doesn't have honey mustard up here. But I love honey mustard. Honey mustard. Mm -hmm. I'm I also a, I'm I'm not picky with sauces either. I will have any of the sauces: sweet and sour, plum sauce, I barbecue am. sauce. What? I don't like barbecue. I don't like sweet and sour. I don't oh. like plum. I don't like. Uh, sweet chili. I'm like. Oh, sweet chili's so good though. I'm like ranch, ketchup, which I don't even like ketchup very much. Ketchup is garbage. <laughs> or like gravy, and it's like that's it. Mmm. Ketchup. Usually ranch. Okay. I'm a ranch bitch. It's better. I do like mm. ranch more than I like ketchup. Ketchup is it's way too sweet. <sighs> And it's just, it's better as a base for things than it is on its own. That's yeah, fair. I'm That's not a very huge fair. Fan of ketchup. I prefer, um, like, uh, no sugar added ketchup. I will say, ah. uh, ketchup is different depending on where you go. Yes. When I was in yes. the Dominican Republic, their ketchup was really weird. It was not the same as right. ours. And I was talking to Multi about it because he's from Mexico, Ecuador originally. And I remember him mentioning something about ketchup. And he was like, yeah, it's different. It's like not the same as American ketchup. And I don't know what's different about it, but it was weird. Yeah. Even up here, if you just switch brands, they're different. Yes. Yeah. Like I've switched. We switched from brands. Uh, I can't remember what brands. We switched like to, from Heinz to another one. And it's like they're completely different. Less sweet. The new ketchup brand we go with. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I just eat it. Um, it's a lot less sweet, so you might like it better. It's just like a nice tart ketchup. It's, but yeah, ketchup in general is pretty mid. It's very, it's very much more of a goes on something rather than like a standalone. Well, I mean, yeah, if I see somebody fucking shotgunning packs of ketchup in a parking lot, I'm going <laughs> to assume their life is in shambles. <laughs> that may be me at one point. I Don't would do, look. I fucking, I, you know what, this is disgusting, but I love mustard. I would do that with mustard. I, I, Mustard's good. Just yellow mustard. I don't I've really done like it with honey mustard, mustard before. I've, <gasps> I've done it with hot honey sauce. The best. And I did it once with sweet and sour sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. but I did it with barbecue will, sauce too. <laughs> I will say. For um, all degenerates. The one, like. I don't even, what would you, I don't know, topping, spread, I don't know. One, the one thing that I would like, I would eat a whole container of is a sour cream. I, I love sour cream. Ah, that's like my mom. She fucking loves that shit. It hates her. She does, yeah. it does not go well with her body, but she loves sour cream. Sour cream is delicious, but sour cream hurts because it's just a heavy, it's heavy dairy. Yeah. But it is pretty fucking good. I know Adrian's dad fucking hates sour cream. Like if it's on he'll he loves tacos. We actually share a birthday, so when I got the Monte Cristo later that night, we went and got tacos at like a pretty good Tex Mex place. And they put sour cream like on the side and he was just like, Yeah, if they would have put that shit on my tacos, I wouldn't be able to eat that. <laughs> so I looked That's it fair. up. Uh, mm. So I was looking up the uh, ingredients of American versus Canadian Heinz ketchup. And the main difference between the two of them 
is we in Canada we add sugar and in America they add high fructose co- corn syrup yeah, and corn sense. syrup. Uh. And then in America the um tomato solids content is 33% and in Canada it's 41%. So we have more right. tomato paste and we have a different type of sweetener. Right. Huh. Interesting. I want to get into this now eventually. Like I want to yeah. like after this research like different ketchups, see the difference. It's not just ketchup too. I will say that I've eaten many foods in America and a lot of um things are made differently because the food standards are different. Mm-hmm. And just the taste like the the what we're used to is different as well, like what we're used to tasting. So even like um even chocolate bars will be different. Or I've had McDonald's in the U.S. and I fucking hated it. But in Canada, it's fine. Yeah. Chocolate's the big one that I've noticed, too, is like chocolate, chocolate is will be big. Yeah. a lot worse down there. Even like the shitty bars. Yeah. Yeah. Things are made. And it's weird because it's like Canada and America are so similar to one another. But our food is made very differently. Because yeah. we'll have like manufacturers will make even if they're from america and they get manufactured in america which a lot of the times there'll be separate plants in canada and america but even if they're coming from america they'll make it differently if they're shipping it to canada it's got to meet the food standards yes Mm -hmm. i will say mcdonald's is very trashed here the only thing i like at mcdonald's is their chicken it's because they coat everything in sugar. Like all the fries are coated yes. in mm-hmm. sugar. That's why McDonald's fries are golden. It's because they've been caramelized in a light sprinkling of right. sugar. Yeah. And that's why when you're a kid, you're like, these are the best fucking fries ever. And then you eat them as an adult and you're like, <laughs> what is wrong with these fries? Because you just don't have that, like, I can eat an entire bowl of sugar and be fine, like, child mentality anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. I love McGriddle. Ooh. Wee. Damn, those are good. We also have items on our menus like on in like for McDonald's for example that like they'll have stuff in America that we don't get and we'll have stuff that they don't get. Mhm. We know ne- we didn't That's get That's always cool. Shake. <laughs> no, we didn't. Everyone was like, "Are we going to get a grimace shake?" I'm like, "I can't." Oh. We got or we have like one. the um uh, We get the poutine. DLT. Uh, the US, mm-hmm. the quarter pounder BLT. Oh, and the poutine, right. Obviously, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they had spicy nuggets like for a long time. <gasps> we didn't get it, but then I we did. Know. The spicy nuggets were really good. I'll say that. And there's one thing, weirdly, fast food does pretty well it's chicken because it's hard to fuck up chicken. You can fuck mm-hmm. up beef, you can fuck up pork, you can fuck up all that. You can't really mess up chicken unless you undercook it. And at that point, you have a different issue. Right. Chicken basically just, no matter what, always tastes like chicken. Yeah. I fully agree. And yeah, if you're fucking up chicken, then uh, you might have to reevaluate your career choice because, damn. For real. It's kind of hard to do. Now, if you had to, say, pick something that you absolutely hated, because I don't like seafood. That's mm-hmm. that, that's a given. Seafood. But I, We I, are the anti-seafood gang we are we are in this podcast (laughs) i i will eat like a decent like fried fish and chips because you don't really taste it at that point but i am it's more like chicken yeah yeah it's it's one of those i'll try anything once just because i don't know if i'm gonna like it or not and i'd rather try Mm -hmm. it and know uh yeah I know there's a lot of people like i don't want to try it because i don't know what it is and it sounds gross like when we went and uh had ethiopian food they just basically have like the cooked meat and then the veggies on a plate and you just kind of rip off this dough and you scoop it up with the dough in your hands and it's delicious. There's somebody who's like, ew, no, you gotta eat with your hands? No, I'm not doing that. What? Bro, do you <gasps> eat wings? I know. And I'm like, ribs? This is so good. And they're like, well, what is it? I was like, dude, this is like some sauteed lamb. And they're like, ew, no, I don't uh. eat that. And I'm like, ugh, so good. That- right, you're missing out. But I'm not like super, super picky um, about most things. The thing that I 
just genuinely do not like. Yeah, there's not even really a lot of it. Um, but we have it mostly in the South. I highly doubt you're going to know what this is, but it's something called cowboy tacos. I have no idea what that is. No idea what that is, no. It's basically a whole lot of... Imagine like a shittier chili because there's like a lot of beans and then there's some meat. So it's an abomination. And you gotta like, yeah, <laughs> Spanish cuisine. <laughs> basically, and you basically gotta like boil the meat in the beans and the broth for like hours Ugh. or a day, and it gets to the point where when you scoop it out, it's all just one big sloppy joe of mess. For some reason, oh, and there's a lot of barbecue sauce in it usually too. So usually when I eat it, it makes me really sick. Because it's so overly sweet, and it's just a big stew boiled bean meat broth that you put on a fucking taco. And every time, I was just like, I cannot eat that. But it's such like a southern, oh my god, this is like amazing. I'm like, that is a bastardization of food. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I cook fairly often. I post a lot about when I'm cooking something. Um... But that is like one thing I've just never been able to stomach. I tried, I tried three separate times because I was like, you know what? Maybe I taste have changed. No, it's still garbage. And it got to the point where I started eating it, and after I swallowed it, I had to go throw up just because it's like it's not staying down. No. Ew. But that's like one food, one cuisine, and all reluctantly call it i cannot fucking stomach whenever anyone's just like oh remember cowboy tacos i'm like what the hell is wrong with you who hurt you <laughs> so what are your guys is like you just cannot stand the taste of it um i do i hate fish i've always hated it i've tried it multiple times and i don't like it i tried it again while i was in newfoundland last week didn't like it still at least you're trying it though yeah, I always will try something unless it's something that I'm like, like I had a coworker and she went to, I can't remember where it was, but they have uh, street vendors. And one of the things that they have is like fried guinea pig. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no thanks. What? I really, it's, for me, I'm not a, a big meat eater. I'm, I don't like most meats. I... Don't really, I let them not, I do not like pork at all. I hate fish. Beef is okay, but I won't eat like steak or anything like that. I'm not really a big fan of burgers. So thankfully I'm not picky with my veggies because that would be really annoying <laughs> to try to find food that I would like. I used to be when I was a kid. The only thing that I hate with a burning passion and I will not eat it because it's disgusting and it makes me want to throw up is olives. I hate them so much. That was what I was going to say, is olives. hate those. Like, They're disgusting. Both kinds. Okay, I was going to say, just one or both? Black yeah. olives are worse, but yeah. I don't like either of them. So They're I, nasty. I don't like super vinegary foods, so olives I don't like. I don't necessarily mind them if they're mixed into something, because... I, I can taste them. They're gross. I generally <laughs> can't taste them if they're mixed in well enough. I'm just like, eh, it's in there, but it's not bothering me. I've mm. had it before where I've accidentally, like, because there's, like, this dip that they sell in the deli in, like, the stores, and it's, like, this Mexican dip, so it has, like, salsa, sour cream, cheese, jalapenos, sometimes it has, like, a bean mix on the bottom, and it has olives, and I've, I avoid the olives, I let my mom eat them. And there have been a couple times where I will accidentally get an olive and immediately I have to spit my food out because it's just like so gross. It's black olives. Mm. I don't know. They're just nasty. Yeah. It's not my That's fault. What I was, gonna I was say. born this way. <laughs> I um I'm just like you guys, I'm not very picky. I'll eat most things because food's good. I want to try more food. You know, I want to be open-minded for the most part. Try more food. And if I don't like it, I don't like it. If I like it, woo, new thing I can eat. Um, but fat, uh, seafood, one thing, no. Some of it, if I wasn't allergic, I would probably eat some seafood. Because there's certain ones that, like Westy said, like fish and chips and stuff that are more like closely related to like chicken or other meats or something. So it's not as 
bad. Um, but olives are no. Olives and also another one that like is the same, which is like this one's like what Westy said is like I like it in some things, but like on its own I can is blue cheese. Oh Ugh. yeah. Like oh there's I've never had just blue cheese by itself. Awful. Yeah. It's, it's like not fucking good. dirt. It's because it's just moldy. I mean, there's a lot of mold and other cheese and stuff, but this one is like it literally just tastes like mold dirt. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so what's bad. What's your guys' favorite cheese? Oh, it really depends on what I'm having, because, like, mm -hmm. if you give me a good queso, like, I'm from the South, you give me a good queso, I am, like, on that shit. Uh, cojita cheese, though, I think goes with almost everything. True. I like a good I... Swiss, because it's, like, the holy silly cheese that got holes in it and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little silly. It's, it's just a little silly. It's also really good. Just a silly little cheese. That's a silly... Very recognizable. That is true. My go-to for anything is hard cheddar, mm. but I, my favorite of all time is probably feta. I love, love, love feta. I <sighs> feta is very anything. good. Yeah, especially when it's like really soft. Yes. Yeah, mm. that is really good. Yeah, but blue cheese I can't do. Only in certain cases. I had this pizza once. It was like a barbecue chicken pizza, and it had uh, uh, some blue cheese on it, and it was fine. It was fine because it was like it's a, a better side ingredient thing. than it is, it is. a food, mm -hmm. which is like a lot of things. But blue cheese in particular, if you go out there and you just like take a fucking slice of blue cheese and stick it in your mouth. Again, I don't know who hurt you, but I don't think therapy can save you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know because I know some people out there who do like blue cheese and just like eat it. And I'm like, no, I can barely do it when it's in other food. Yeah, no. I but I cannot I've, do it on its own. I don't even know if I've had it before. It's, imagine. You're not missing much. Just imagine a stronger cheese, but then sprinkle a little dirt on there for flavor. <laughs> yeah. For flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very earthy cheese. And it's so strong. It's just like, ah, I feel this in my mouth for like a day. I get you. Yeah, this is gonna. Oh, it's so. I remember the one time I had blue cheese on its own because I was like, I, I've had it in things before. It's about time that I, you know, I soloed this. Let's try it. Oh, <gasps> mistake. Oh my God. I had my mom try it with me too because she hates blue cheese. But I was like, if I try this, you try this. She's like, okay. We both gagged. Yeah. It's, <laughs> we felt bad because we're in a restaurant, but we both like gagged. It was so. Ugh. It's so bad. Ugh. I hate blue cheese. No, I gotta try yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and try it. I think it's worth it. You might like it. It's weird because there's certain people who... I think it's like a gene you have. If you like it, you fucking love it. If you don't mm. like it, it just tastes awful. Or it's something you can it's barely like cilantro. Talk. Yeah, either it tastes like yeah. soap or it tastes fine. Do you guys have the soap gene? I do not. No, I do not. I can eat cilantro. Thank God, because cilantro is actually pretty good. It, it's it. like a little extra. I think I might because it does kind of taste a little bit like soap, but it's not so extreme where I like can't eat it on stuff right freesia is like if there's a little bit of cilantro it's like she can't eat it it tastes really bad mm. it's like me with olives that's so crazy i want to like experience that just once just like eat it and taste what they taste i mean i i can imagine what they taste but i don't know i just want to uh, experience it take a bite of a bar of soap no but what kind of soap um good question actually like i like you know, As like if I know the flavors of soap, but aloe vera, like the basic ass, bitch <gasps> oh, ass soap. Ivory. Okay. The ivory soap. Yeah. Yes. Or it's just a white okay. bar of nothing. Yes. The funniest thing is that makes so much sense to me. <laughs> and yeah. I don't need to try it anymore. I don't I'm not curious. I get it. Yeah, no, you it's say ivory soap. I know how that tastes. For me. Yeah. <laughs> it's not super strong, so I can tolerate it. I will pick if there's lots of cilantro, I'll pick like understandable the big pieces off yeah but um like it's not huge for me but i know for some people it's like real nasty right maybe Isn't i just maybe thing? i just love soap maybe i'm just a soap <laughs> <laughs> isn't there another thing that's attached to that i feel like there's one other like food thing or something that if you have that gene you also experience another thing uh, differently. i know there's the asparagus pea thing yeah oh yes 
Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. have the gene. My I do not have that normal. either. I do not have Bears over there sniffing the toilet bowl like we're still good. I needed to know. I had asparagus and I was like, I want to know if it smells weird. It did not. I did not. Yeah, because I was told that my dad told me that and I, I wanted to know. And yeah, no, lie. For me, at least, lie. Yeah, it has to. you have to have the right gene so it can interact with your body the way it needs to. Mm-hmm. It's not just a, everyone has this one particular trait. I was lied to. I was so excited to like, I don't know. It was a dumb thing. But I, I was, was so I was excited like, oh. to smell my piss. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this is fun. I could like prank someone with this. I don't know. I was a kid. I was excited about having like something new. So this episode is titled Food Confessions. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about our favorite foods and if we smelt our pee after <laughs> having asparagus. <laughs> Just sitting on a toilet with a whole bowl of asparagus like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> Oh, you just dedicate a whole day to eating asparagus. You have to be sure. You got to make sure it's actually in the system. Right. Asparagus and glasses of water. That's all you got. Yeah. You have to be a purist. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, So for the final topic here, just want to touch on it. Uh, Fast food. Mm Because I love fast food. That's not really a secret. Taco Bell is my jam. I will say everything at Taco Bell just tastes the same. Like I could get a crunch wrap, I could get a grilled cheese wrap, I could get a gordita crunch, I could get anything. It all just tastes exactly the same yes. to me because Yeah. All they use the same ingredients. It's the same ingredients, yeah. That's funny because um I don't know if you guys watch Keith Eats Everything at no. Um the Try Guys are independent now, they're not with BuzzFeed. They have been for a while. Oh right. Okay, so yeah. Keith will eat everything at a fast food place or a restaurant. And he did eat everything at Taco Bell, and he had a he had, he had a bucket, and whenever something tasted the same, he put it in the bucket, and almost everything went in the bucket. And then from that point on, ever since he's had a bucket, and he calls it the Taco Bell bucket. And whenever something anywhere else tastes the same as something else on the menu, he's like, "This is like Taco Bell." And he put it in the bucket. It, <laughs> it's just one of those weird things. Like I don't know how. I guess everything is prepared in the morning at the same time and there's not a huge variety of like ways something could be made so of course it's gonna taste similar but like exactly the same every time that's also why i love it because i know what i'm getting no matter no even if i fuck up my words like oh well still tastes the same and i just kind of eat it that's true yeah that's true and i don't like i will say yeah i've only had chipotle once and it was with arva Cause we don't have it here. Yes. But I was in Vancouver and Arva came to say hello to me. And he was like, oh, there's a Chipotle here. We should have it. And I've never had it. And it was good. I enjoyed it. I'll never have it again. Probably, I love Chipotle. It's no. not anywhere near here. <laughs> <laughs> Chipotle is here. It's not very good here. We have a lot of cases of food poisoning with Chipotle here. I don't think no. I would get a burrito. I, I like the bowl. The bowls are where it's at, honestly. I the burritos are way too big. It was in the in lettuce, my opinion. Though. That's what they found. Right, out. I oh, heard about that. Yes. yes, we get uh like romaine and le- green leaf lettuce recalls pretty much every summer for E. coli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened up here with Chipotle. The lettuce it was like a no go, so we didn't get Chipotle for a little while, which was sad because I love Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle is really good up here, though, especially here in BC. I feel like Chipotle is a big staple for British Columbians. The Vancouver. I need to try <laughs> um, Jolly Bees. Jolly oh, Bees. Jolly Bees, good. They opened. I think there. I know there's one in Alberta. I don't know if they've opened more, but I think there's two here. I do want to try it because I do like chicken, mm-hmm. and I do like to compare chicken burgers. My favorite. They have chicken. spaghetti. They do. They do. Oh, Bro, I got to try the spaghetti. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh, you got me. They have me. a lot of food. <laughs> they have, like, such an interesting variety of food. I thought it was just fried chicken. No, I'm pretty sure they have spaghetti, too. Someone told me they have spaghetti. I've never got it, but that's what I've been told. So hopefully I'm Fast not food spreading spaghetti. misinformation. Hmm. I don't know how I feel <laughs> I know. about that. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's... I don't know, once again, if the person was lying to me, but I'm pretty sure they weren't, and they said it was good. Weirdly, I've had... We have a place down here called Fazoli's, and I'd never had it before, but I guess it's like all over the Midwest. Mm. And so we went to get it. I was like, what kind of food do they got here? A lot of spaghetti, a lot of pasta, like one pizza. And I was just like, 
uh and adrian's like just get the chicken alfredo it's the only good thing they have here and i was like okay mm, chicken alfredo is so good and Can't it was go wrong with that i either. love chicken alfredo it tasted like the most generic thing. like it wasn't it was all those things like Aww. it's not they do it's not yes, bad do. but like she's so excited <laughs> i was right <laughs> so excited <laughs> they do they have spaghetti you said it so fast <laughs> they have spaghetti well, and they have burger steaks is yeah, that? see, they have an interesting mix of food. Like their food mix is so oh, like it's called random. Mushrooms on it. Sad. Burger steak, I'm pretty sure, is just hamburger and like laid and on gravy a plate and mush without and mushrooms and then with rice. Oh yeah. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I remember. I want to say this: if you're ever curious, mm. if you eat a buffalo, it tastes just like hamburger. In the last, I, yes, I figured that that kind of like lines up. Uh, mm. I was gonna say and bison. They taste just like hamburger or steak. Because I had, in my vacation, I had buffalo, I had elk, and I had grizzly bear. Oh. I don't like, um, I've had moose. Not a fan. Too oh. gamey for me. I heard that moose could be kind of gamey. It depends. It depends on how it's prepared. Mm. I had moose um, jerky, and it was pretty gamey. Yeah. I, I, don't like the, I don't like the taste of gamey meats. No. You will hate, absolutely hate the taste of snake then, because that's pure game. Yeah, no thanks. I already don't really like the taste of meat in general, so... I'm a big uh, meat eater, in case like, you haven't figured mm. it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty big with meat eating. I'm pretty adventurous with what I'll eat. Like chicken. Um, but I, chicken's my favorite. Love me some chicken. I do like chicken, yeah. I don't think there's any fast food place that I'm like, oh, this is my favorite fast food. They're all just kind of like. But if there's one that either uh, you absolutely hate or absolutely loathe above the others, either way on this one. Ooh, Burger mm. King. Burger King yeah, is the I standard. I don't like Burger King. I, I just don't. Burger chicken fries is the only thing that's good from them. Chicken fries in like the early to mid 2000s were the best. They like changed the recipe. Yes. And yeah. they're not as good, but goddamn, Burger King is fucking terrible. I also am not, I don't like KFC. I don't mind KFC. <laughs> KFC's okay. They changed some of the recipes, though, so I get it. Yeah. It's kind of shifted a bit. But I yeah. love them for their popcorn chicken, but that's also kind oh, of it. The chicken. thing is, we have a, a, a fried chicken place here called Mary Brown's. And it originates <gasps> from, Mary Brown's is so much better. Dude, it is. It, it yeah. originates from Newfoundland, and it's literally, like, so much, like, significantly increased quality from mm -hmm. KFC that, like, once you've had it, KFC is absolute dog shit. It's like dog yeah. food because Mary Brown's is so good. That is such a good take. I agree. Mary Brown's is so fucking good. Mary Brown's, oh if I'm going to get a chicken burger, it's from Mary Brown's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fully I agree. Like, I was also uh, going to say there's like Korean chicken places that are really good too. I've never had, I don't think I've had Korean chicken before. <gasps> so good. It is so good. I also like, yeah. uh, I like Triple O's, which is another Canadian yes! fast food that originated in BC, but they're pretty expensive so i don't oh eat there very often god it's like eating at a restaurant i used to work there and we only got 15 percent off oh that's shit it was awful i just stole the food <laughs> <laughs> Fair. i would too but yeah i i agree triple o's is also really good Damn. they're a little upscaled they are i think it's because they're like ah we have all canadian food and we ethically source and whatever yeah. It's like, okay. A and W like, too, especially same, Canadian yes. A and W. And I like A and W. Uh, yeah. I like their chicken the most. And their root beer. Their yeah. root beer is delicious. They also don't use ice in their cups because they yeah they, they chill freeze their, their cups cups yeah yeah so you don't get watered down anything. None of your drinks are watered down from the ice. Oh, which is like. Bless you. You're amazing. You're so smart, Core. I will now, say. Obviously, if you don't get those cups, you get ice because you can't just like leave the restaurant with one of their big fucking glass mugs. But no, <laughs> even if you get like I like their drive through and they give you the, the, the paper cups, there's still no ice in it. Yeah, think, that's I true. Think actually, they chill the, the takeout containers, too. Good on them. They have good. I like their poutine, actually. 
I don't mm-hmm. like McDonald's poutine. I think it's garbage. No, because it's McDonald's poutine. <laughs> There's only so good McDonald's can be, and poutine is something that I don't think I would ever order from McDonald's. No, I tried it once, and I I did not enjoy it. Mary Brown's actually has a tater poutine. Oh, <gasps> their taters and are so good. And it's pretty ballin', I'm not going to lie. That's another thing is like if you go to any fast food place up in Canada, there is usually poutine as a side dish. Oh, absolutely. If they there's if like there a few that isn't, isn't. It's like, bro. Right. Fuck. If there isn't, it's usually an American chain that's been brought up here, or they just don't have it for some reason. But most places have poutine as a side. <laughs> I think I. You know what? This conversation made me remember. I think I do have a favorite fast food place. Oh. Uh. New York fries. I don't know if it <gasps> even exists in America, but I love the veggie uh, fries. It's mm-hmm. got like sour cream, uh, like that kind of like nacho cheese, like the hot liquid cheese. Oh, okay, so sure, kind of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then green onion and tomato, like um, cubed tomato. Yum. Yeah, and New York fries is really good. Baller. I don't know if we have. Kind usually of when. Which is ironic. Yeah. Usually yeah. when it's named after an American place, it doesn't exist in America, like Boston Pizza. <laughs> yeah, Boston Pizza is Canadian, but it's, it's Boston Canadian. Pizza. Yeah. Yeah, no, we do not have Interesting. That. And New York fries. Man, if you ever also get the chance, Canadian. New York fries is very good. Very good, yeah. If you're like, uh, I want to come to Canada and I'm going to like, I want to try a poutine. It's you can just go to New York fries, honestly. Yeah. You could go anywhere and you could probably get some. But well, New York fries yeah, you some could. Good ones. I will say, <laughs> I mean, it's iffy if you're going to a fast food place and getting poutine because some of them are garbage. Yeah. Like McDonald's and Dairy Queen are the <sighs> worst poutines I've ever oh. had. Honestly, Dairy Queen, I only go for obviously the the ice cream. Yeah, I like their the ice name. cream. I also like they have this flamethrower sauce. Yes, and it's super good. Mm-hmm. Flamethrower sauce is really good. They have okay burgers. Like their their food isn't terrible. I would take Dairy Queen food over Burger King. Yeah, <laughs> well, I would take I would take fucking uh, Roadkill <laughs> over Burger King. It's a burger. That's true. This episode is sponsored by Burger King. <laughs> yeah. This episode it's so is funny their name's Burger King. Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. Oh, you like Hello Fresh. Hit us up. One day. One yeah. day. I mean, I can get their I can get a Hello Fresh sponsorship for my streams cuz it's like always in my stream elements dash. Yeah, actually. Right. <laughs> They're like the new Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah. They really are though. Uh and so that's kind of a wrap up here. Anything else that like really sticks out in your head? If you had to think about food that may not be everywhere, you know, not like a burrito or some fries, but like anything that super sticks out to you? Because mine is definitely the Monte Cristo. But that's also because I eat a lot of I mean, I went to that ethnic festival. Today. I had like a little bit of everything. Mm hmm. Everything I could, anyway, because it was just like, I'm so full. But we got. I don't know if there's Aww. anything Canadian specific other than poutine. Yeah. There's like, what is it? Beaver, beaver tail. Oh, beaver dude, tail. Beaver tails are epic. It's a, yeah. like a. Have you ever had an elephant ear? No. Okay. Well, it's the same thing. It's just like a big <laughs> fried. It's like if a donut was flat and large, and then you put like powdered sugar and chocolate and sometimes ice cream and shit oh, on it. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah, it's really good. That's it's another like thing that's food. like okay. Yeah. Like a funnel cake. That's the only thing I can think about that's like a Canadian uh, special besides poutine. I I like Nanaimo bars. Oh, Nanaimo bars are really good too. Yeah. I uh Wesley, do you know what a prairie oyster is? No. <laughs> you should look it up. <laughs> per- <laughs> oh, all dressed in ketchup chips. Oh, yes. All dressed is my mm-hmm. favorite type of oh, chip. Oh, all dressed is the best. This. It's supposed to help with hangovers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, okay. I never knew its name. I just kind of remember being like, <laughs> I'd rather have a headache. <laughs> Fair. And the, I've never had a hangover, though. So, it's like, eh. so oh, oh, I didn't know this was a drink. Okay, also, apparently, <laughs> no idea that this was a drink. Okay, well, prairie oysters are also bull testicles. Oh. Either way. Well, that's what I was expecting you to see when you look. And you were like, these are good for hangovers. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I yeah. mean, the hangover, they used to hang over something. I didn't know but... there was a drink. So yeah, a prairie oyster drink is a raw egg with like spices in it. And then when you take Ew. it, right. the protein like makes your hangover go away. Because your body's mm. now processing a lot of protein. I'd rather just deal with it. It's a day of being gross, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, okay. They're also known as... Okay, so the more common name is Rocky Mountain Oysters. Yes, that's the one I've heard them referred to as more. Okay. It might be a like, regional thing. It, but yeah, it just, might be it's, regional. It's yeah. fried bull testicles. Okay, yeah. This Rocky Mountain Oysters I have heard of because we were up in the fucking mountains. And there was one place that sold Rocky Mountain Oysters. And everyone was just like, nah, we're good. We're gonna... <laughs> it's okay we can pass on this yeah and I was just like can I get the grizzly bear <laughs> how is that how is grizzly meat so bear meat is fucking delicious it is so lean there's like Ooh. there's like no there was no fat on it at all it was pure meat and it huh. didn't taste gamey but it tasted I don't know how else to describe it but it tasted like super meaty like it was so hearty when I was eating it. I was just like, "This, this is meat right. tasted like meat." Well, you know how when sometimes <laughs> you eat like certain meats, and you're like, "It's okay. It's like a little fatty, or it's okay. It's got like yes, a little bit yeah. of a game flavor to it." This was just like pure meat flavor in the perfect like soft grain texture. Mm. And I was just like, "So good." I, I think like you could probably find bear meat up here. Especially in like Banff area or something. I'll say local butcher or probably. I yeah. definitely like uh probably the most popular types of meat that are like game meat here is moose and bison. Yeah. Bison like, uh, was even A and W had a bison burger for a little while. They did. I never had bison until last week and I was so thoroughly disappointed in it. It's beef, basically. Yeah. Yeah. The elk was just like a thicker, a little bit more gamey deer. So I was like, eh. Yeah, same with moose. But yeah, bear is delicious. Like, I, I've been thinking about that. <laughs> You're like, oh, man, I gotta, you got to get your fix, bro. You need to, You need more bear meat. So... It's weird. It's illegal in the U.S., but I've also had horse meat, and horse meat is so good. Horse meat is the best meat I think I've ever had. It's illegal? Yeah, it's illegal to eat horses in the U.S. Interesting. I guess unless it's a survival situation or, you know, kind of thing. But you can't, like, they're not a livestock animal, so you can't raise horses for meat. Oh, I, I see. I wonder if it's probably also in Canada. I didn't know that. But it might be. But I have had horse meat before, and that was like the best tasting meat I've ever had in my life. And no steak has ever even come close to the horse meat. And grizzly was like probably right under that. And I'm sitting here like, uh. why are all the delicious animals like fucking illegal? What the hell? It is legal in Canada. It is a specialty in French cuisine. So in Quebec, it's called Chevron. Uh, it's ah, uh, that adds up. It's so good. But yeah, I would put grizzly right under horse meat. Which is funny because Cheval is horse. So it's just horse meat in French. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's very creative. Ah. Uh. Now I'm hungry. Oh my god! One thing I wouldn't eat is um, what is the baby cow? Veal. Veal. I would not eat. Right. Veal. I've had veal. It's not that fantastic. 
I was going to say, for like the difference it makes, it's not worth it. No, it really isn't. The meat is just softer. And, mm. and that's it. So I'm just like, I can chew. Right. Yeah, it still tastes the same. It really does. I'm not that old. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> again, I am a, you know, if we're here, hey, what what's the specialty of this region? Oh, it's, you know, bison. It's horse. I'm like, try it. I'm curious. Would you have the guinea Fine. pig on the the fried guinea pig? I'd probably have a bite. I'm not going to lie. I probably, I would not. Mm, I'd be really disappointed, but I'd have a bite. Where is this from? Peru. That's fair. Peru. Yeah, definitely. Because they raise, they have different types of guinea pigs there, though. I think that's the difference. They don't raise guinea pigs as pets. They raise them as food. Oh, they're huge. Right. Jesus. Yeah, they're Dang. like five foot long guinea pigs raised for food. So it's like. Damn. Well, that makes sense. Then you get more meat. It's yeah. just the they fry it and it's like the whole guinea pig, like the uh, head and everything. Yeah, that I would not have. I would have like a slice of it just to see. You'd have it. to be hard to tell that it was a guinea pig. Yeah, yeah, I could not have its face on there. I would just be like, can I have like a little flank here and then just put it right here and I'm going to turn away and then we're going to eat and fried chicken now. I would try it. it they just deep fry the whole. That's fair. Thing. I don't know if I would. If I didn't know what it was, yes. If I didn't know what it was, I'd have to really think about it. I want to try frog legs. Eh, they're meh. They're fairly really, like fishy flavor. Oh, uh, never mind. No. <laughs> I, because I also had those and I had iguana and I was really disappointed because I didn't know what it was at first. Somebody was like, here, try this. I was like, what is it? And they're like, oh, just try it first. And I was like, sketchy, but okay. And I ate it. I was like, this is like super. It's like a chicken and a fish came together and fucked. And this is what they left me. So I was very conflicted. I was like, I don't know if I like that. And they're like, it was iguana. And I was like, oh, I love iguanas. I'm so sad now. Yeah, no, <laughs> little baby. Yeah, so I didn't know what it was before. I, it was just like I took a bite of a meat cube, basically. And it just tasted both chicken and fish at the same time. And I was so like, what is mm. happening in my mouth? <laughs> what is this? What you make me eat? That, that's the only thing I really like fully regretted. Because I'm like, man, I love iguana. But I guess I don't like the way they taste. Yeah. So I'll never have to worry about eating them. It's true. That's a bonus. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you accidentally eat iguana, you'll be like, oh man, I can. This nah, is iguana. I like this. <laughs> it, it was the same with alligator. It's like very chickeny, but with like a hint of fish. It's like mm. it's like the Lacroix like of fish flavor. Like, like you're making chicken, right. but a fish came through and farted in the room, and now that's what you're left with. <laughs> <laughs> it's got stink everywhere. Yeah, and I'm just like, yeah, it's like a hint of it. But yeah, yeah, huh, good to know. Very good to know, actually. So uh, I have one question for you guys first. Yeah. Uh -huh. Coffee or tea? Tea. Tea. Based. Okay. We're the yeah. hey, we're the sea anti seafood pro tea gang. Yeah. yeah. The I, way it should be. I'm just Joking. not even a giant fan <laughs> of coffee. It's one of those if it's given to me, I can drink it, but I don't like I need my cup I of can't. coffee. I'm just like Yeah. I enjoy the smell of coffee, but I don't like oh, Yeah the taste yes but it, uh -huh. when adrian's making coffee I'm like that smells so good she's like you want a sip and i'm like not really <laughs> then that ruins everything i'm like no i need to have like the smell and that's it e i pretend i drink it yeah and it's just like ah that smells good anyway i have my big glass of sugar infused tea just like yes <laughs> right because tea is so tasty I love mm. tea. black tea uh is my favorite green tea is okay but it's not my go-to i'm 50 50 mm. on green tea because it really depends on where i get it or how they make it so mm -hmm. they can there's the people who do like green tea and they pour like more than half the cup of milk and i'm like no oh no no That's, milk in no. my green tea. no that is milk is so for bad. black tea like that right. milk belongs in other teas that happened because once green at a tea restaurant is so earthy like it just doesn't go with milk yeah because i got if you want that uh, get matcha yes because matcha is kind of like a green tea with milk not yeah. really but it's like what you can get instead we went to a restaurant 
And I was like, ooh, I'll have the green tea because it was like their house special. So I'm always like, oh, yeah, give me that. And they come out with like the cup. And then as she sets it down, she pours a bunch of milk in there. And I'm like, can I get a Coke, please? I ruined it. I legitimately said, can I also get a Coke? Don't pour (laughs) Give me the milk. And let me decide if I want milk in my tea. Right. Yeah. As she poured it in, I was just like, I'm not drinking that anyway. Uh, no, thanks for the ruined tea. So that's like, if that's how you got to treat all your tea, I'll just take a soda. I know you're not going to pour milk in there. Don't give me the pilk. The only tea <laughs> I will accept a little bit of milk in, or if it's a, like a tea latte, is um, uh, like a, a chai, like any type of spice. Tea. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chai mm-hmm. tea with a dash of milk. Chai? Oat milk specifically is delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love me some chai. Yes. That might be my favorite kind of tea, I think. Chai is chai. my favorite. And then around Christmas time, when all uh, the gingerbread teas come out, that shit is bomb. Dude, yes. I, I didn't know, because Adrian goes to Starbucks a lot, but she also has a cousin that works there. And she got me, it was around when it was cold, it was a chai tea latte with uh brown sugar and a pump of some like gingerbread flavoring in there. It was the most delicious drink I think I've ever had from Starbucks. Because I don't really like Starbucks. I usually just get like a lemonade and I'm good. Yeah, the refreshers are good from Starbucks. I like refreshers and I like chai tea latte and that's it. But if you get like, because apparently they only have it when it's cold, but you get it with the maple brown sugar and then gingerbread, it is so fucking good. I'm going to have to try that because I usually get it with cinnamon powder. And I think that, I think that was in there, too, on the top. That would be good Yum. as well. But it basically just, it tasted like almost drinking a dessert cake. And I was like, oh, this is so good right now. <laughs> that does sound really good. Holy shit. I, I'm excited for the fall season to come around so I can have, like, nice warm drinks to warm me up. I'm sad I kind of missed out on the pumpkin spice. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on, I have to mute my phone. <laughs> AFK, edit out the fucking Snapchat noise. No, no, AFK, make it louder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bass boost it. Bass boost it and then add like a camera <laughs> shutter effect and just zoom in really close to Farah. Um, <laughs> I miss out on pumpkin spice flavored um stuff mostly because it's usually coffee and I don't like the taste of coffee at mm. all. Even flavored coffees, or if it's only a little bit of coffee, you can still taste it, and I don't like it. I have gotten chai tea with a uh, pumpkin like foam on it, and that's good. But I wouldn't get like a pump pumpkin spice like pump of flavoring in it. I feel like that would ruin it. Yeah, right. But apparently, it is a popular thing. If you're not like a coffee drinker, you get a pump of uh, pumpkin spice in your in your tea. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin spice in general. It just it tastes just like, like pumpkin flavored things. It tastes like, like lazy cinnamon to me, and I'm just like, eh. I love uh if you guys have ever I love every fall I make pumpkin muffins from like uh I'm too lazy to bake my own pumpkins, so I just get like a canned pumpkin um from the store. But that shit is good. I love pumpkin muffins. I can see it being good. Better as a dessert than a drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people will, like, when you bake, uh, or, like, pumpkin pies me. I love pumpkin pie. I'm not a fan of pumpkin pie. I'm not a fan of pies in general. I don't really like a fruit pie. I'm more like like a cream pie. Mm, like oh. Coconut cream ah, pie. Ah, ah. Anyway. Oh yeah, you come. Shut the fuck up. Do you have any idea how many times I've said that shit on stream and chats? Like, oh yeah, the cream pie. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I had, I had to. That that was for your viewers out there. That's your listeners. This episode's real. over. I'm. T- <laughs> 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 Ah, holy shit, that was funny. Uh, but it was essential. It it was needed. Uh, with that, I think we're going to wrap up. This episode has made me very hungry, and I have a cottage pie that we got from that ethnic fest upstairs that I'm going to heat <gasps> up, and I'm going to eat a cottage pie. 
Because I don't like fruit pies, no. but you know, like meat pies are delicious. Mm-hmm. So. That's true. I have to eat something too. Now I'm so hungry. I'm full of McDonald. You're full of McDonald. The man, the man McDonald. <laughs> oh God! Oh my God! McDonald. Well, with that, the episode's <laughs> going to come to a close, and I have to pick a winner. And I think it's only fair that I pick Arva because Arva I is hungry. Say- Ours is just as hungry as me. You're full. You already ate. I think you should just right. give it to him because he's like, please, I want to win. I have won <laughs> so lost long. so many. I lost so many, you know, bro. Please, I just want to win. I mean, it's great because I don't have to do any work, but like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody out there is keeping track and they got like the Arva board like someday. There was yeah, a someone's while like, I stand Arva. When the You'll first... Win. Uh, the first like a uh, few episodes, I was fucking never winning, and Lucia, <laughs> Lucia DM Dream was like, "Hey, can you win an episode, please?" <laughs> <laughs> well, he got his wish. He did. He did. Uh, you got your wish. Now you have to pick a topic. Yep. I to now, topic. now it's I think I have some ideas. So. These uh, this conversation has sparked some topics. I think food was a good one. I hadn't thought of. That was no, right now I can play off of more with some other food stuff. Maybe this. I was thinking food just because we were having all the different types of food last night. I was like, this would be interesting just to kind of like go over that because everyone has different food experiences, and I mean, we're in different countries, and even you are in different time zones. Yeah. yeah, the regional differences and how things are made. And I'm like, oh yeah, when I was in Newfoundland, bro, Newfies have their own culture and they have their own food. That like jigs dinner, cold plates, corned beef, fish and chips, obviously a lot of Irish inspired stuff, hot roast beef sandwiches, hot turkey sandwiches, and also, um. They give you so much fucking food. I was I gained weight over there for sure. <laughs> You're supposed to on vacation though. That's the whole lots point. Lots of fried right. food. Lots of fried fish. I think I'm pretty sure I put on some pounds on vacation too, and it's just one of those. Yeah, it's just the thing. Because you're not doing anything, just going and looking at stuff, and then you're getting food, and then you're going to sleep. Yeah. Do not try yeah. to find a pasta place in St. John's. It's impossible. Really? Huh. <laughs> so it's just. It's ninety percent Irish, uh, Irish, um, Newfie, uh, like hybrid. Right. Mm. I see. So, with that, Arava, do you have a Victor speech today? I fucking love food. <laughs> God, Amen. like, I'm so food motivated. But like, money's great, but food. You know how much food you could buy with money. That is give me the food. We skip steps. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always so the excited when someone bribe me. I'm always so excited when somebody orders me food because it's just like, yeah. oh my god, like yeah, the monetary donation is great. There's a difference. Every time I've ordered you food, you're like, oh, why did you do that? Oh, don't so <laughs> spend your money on me. Wait. Because I feel bad when like friends spend money on me because it's like. Just save your money. Like I, I'll be fine. But like, when somebody randomly is just like, "Hey, here's you know twenty bucks, DoorDash something," I'm like, "Oh yes, gibby 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 gibby." It, it it like hits different when that happens. It do it do yeah. When you're like it's a friend doing something for you, you're just like, "Nah nah, save your money, save your money." Somebody on the internet's just like, "Here, go get some Wendy's." I'm like, "Oh Wendy's, Wendy's." It's it's just like that. So yes, I do love it when people yeah. are like, "Here you go, here's something for food," or "Hey, we're gonna like get you this gift card off throne for food." And I'm like, oh, "Yes," and then I turn into Thank a little you. crab and just start snipping my hands at the screen. <laughs> I don't know why. Farah, what is your loser speech for today? Um, I can uh, be bribed with food very easily. So if there's anything. That you want me to do, uh, chances are if I say no, if you offer me food, I will say yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for the day, like, I'm like, fair wins. Next week comes along, 
we start the episode. She's like, so anyway, Arva got me food last week, so he's hosting now. And just hear, like, <laughs> aggressive eating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Little man. Vibes. Wessie. Oh, my God. You won. It's totally not related to the fact that you <laughs> ordered me pizza. <laughs> uh, and with that, we're going to bring the episode to a close. Thank you so much for joining us today. You can find each of us on our social media accounts. I am Westy HCC across the board. Farah is now uh, Farah the Bat across the board. Right, uh, TikTok as well, right? Or do you have TikTok? No, I don't have a TikTok. I keep. Right. I never know who has one or not anymore. So I'm not cool enough. <laughs> it's one of those. I do, but I don't use it. Yeah, it's one of those. I always have to try to remember because I'm never really on TikTok all that often. But it's like I should probably include all the social media. But fair of the bat across the board, and Arva is Arva on Twitch and Arva underscore, uh, underscore sixty nine on X dot com. <laughs> oh God! I love X dot com. I love me some X videos. Hell yeah! Posting right. the X pics. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. It's really Tweet, uh, reposting my X's. <laughs> Did you see? He really wanted to get rid of the block feature. <gasps> I know, what? and someone said it's probably because he's been blocked by so many people that he got mad. <laughs> but the funny thing is, if he removes the block feature, X can no longer be on mobile devices because it's required. Because it's a legal thing. Yeah, yeah. For a social media platform. So if he does get rid of it, it's going to be gone off of phones. Yeah. And it's just like. You also have to, they're implementing for uh, Twitter or X Blue. Yep. Uh, you have to like take a picture of your ID and shit. Oh my god! Was oh, that only for blue? Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. I also want to say. So fucking stupid. I made the discovery the other day, and this fucking sucks. Because before I hit, now we're gonna go off topic because I want to rant about Elon and <laughs> Twitter really quick. What fucking sucks the most? If you go to X and you open up to like you know start a tweet and you kind of write out a tweet to get ready and you go do something else, if that's on there for too long, it'll pop up a screen to be like, we need you to confirm your identity and you're not a bot. And you have to select the image where it has like <gasps> two symbols, and when it comes really? back, your tweet what? is gone. They erase your tweet. And I used to do that, because I'd have it like set up before I'd start stream, and then I'd go like do something else and keep getting ready. Then when I was ready, I'd just click back and hit, you know, like send tweet, and then send Discord notification. But now if it's sitting there too long, it's like, we don't think you're human. And when you submit your human, it just refreshes the page and gets rid of your tweet. Oh, my God. That's so stupid. Similarly, oh. I used to be able to, um, whenever I did art on um, Procreate, like where I make my schedules every week, I used to be able to upload directly to Twitter, and now it doesn't work anymore. So I have to download it onto my iPad and then go to Twitter and upload it manually. <sighs> it's all just... Uh, a sinking ship. Yeah. Fuck Elon Musk. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's True. good. We're gonna end on that note. Have a great day, everyone, and we will see you next week. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.